Double stream. Yeah, I'll be curious to know what it's like to um, play this game on dual monitors. I assume you can do it? Because <laughs> I've noticed my, my mouse is the camera. So I was like, how's that going to work? Because I just slide my mouse over here and it shows up on this other screen. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> Possible. Oh, oh if, if are you are you facing the problem when like if you're trying to move your camera, the mouse trails off to the other monitor? I haven't. I, I just right now in the menu it does that. Um, I but, think that's just in the menu. And then once I play the game, it'll lock the mouse into the primary screen, right? Yep. Until you until you tab out sure. to another window. That makes sense. Well, welcome streamers, and to Gamerland tonight. I am very excited. To go on a my maiden voyage with the mods. Our, the name of our ship should be the Sparkly Blue Lights, I think. Crazy Blue Lights. And, uh, and this will be a lot of fun. We got um, Million Dollar Sacks, which you know is Crimzone. And then uh, Ryan, who has everyone's passwords. And then Steven should join us soon. So <laughs> no one is going to be able to moderate the chat because we're all going to be playing a game. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'll be, be able to look at the chat. I can look at the chat, but that's about as good as it's going to get. So. <laughs> Welcome, Gunshade the First and Woozia. I also think, guys, if we get any subs, we can do it for your stream too, Jimmy, if you get any subs. We have to do a sea shanty together. Um... Soon may the well of men come. Yeah, perfect. Bring us subs and tea and rum. Oh, perfect. We'll do it. Uh, Gunshade the first. Hey there. Good to see you. And the Josh Gamer 2005. Uh, but, Jimmy, if you're going to... Are you going to watch my chat and your chat? That's like double chat. That's craziness. Yep. I, uh, I, I do that all the time when, uh, when Zen and I do... Oh, like, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, everybody, it's Agaga, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> and Dark Bane 95, hey, you probably get a lot. You basically verbally frame my childhood. You know, uh, I get the sentiment a lot. No one has ever framed it like that, that I basically verbally frame their childhood. I am, I appreciate your vocabulary, Dark Bane, and I am, I am honored to be a part of your childhood. That's pretty great. The verbal frame. Uh, Ryan, how many hours have you clocked sailing the open seas? Absolutely none. What? Let's so I'm, go! So I am completely new to this. You mean, like, literally none? None at all? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Can you do it yeah, then? I, I don't you have to today. do the maiden voyage first? You okay. don't have to. You don't have to, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, TTV, nocturnal. Um, so my, my, uh, daughter loves this game. She's six and she watched me play it. And tonight we were watching some shows and she's like, before bed, are we going to have time to play that pirate game? And I was like, yes, we are. <laughs> so I've already played for an hour before this stream. <laughs> oh. Uh oh, this crew member is disconnected. Maybe join with a certain time period. Ryan, come back, Ryan. Don't leave us. Um, Ryan, come back. But it was great, Jimmy. She wanted to go to the sparkly lights, and I was like, "I've never been. Let's just let's just drive there." And we hung out for a while and sailed to the lights, and found a reaper chest in a shipwreck, and then had to go take care of that. So it was quite a little before bedtime piratey adventure. It was, it was pretty good. That's cool. Let's see. I had no idea what I was gonna find at the end of those crazy blue lights. I'm gonna update info. I'm gonna restart my computer real quick. Discord sure. keeps going in and out. Give me a sec. While they do that, bit.ly slash gamerland discord. Uh let's chat in the chat box. Who's played this game? How's your Thursday going? Does Ryan know your password? Where's Steven? These questions and more. Coming up right now. On the gamer land. Do, 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 do. Jimmy, what are you doing right now to prepare for? Are you are you gathering provisions? I assume it's donuts. Oh, uh, 
Man, I wish I had some donuts. <laughs> Dang, now you've got me longing. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get you in the mood for donuts, though. <laughs> I guess a yingling will have to do. <laughs> Poor yinglings. Uh, how many hours... What level are you in this game? Uh, I have... Um, I have uh, level 60 with all the reputations except for the hunter. Oh, wow. So you have emissaries and all that stuff that I don't understand? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Uh, Dark Vang, you played this with your brother-in-law. Very cool. That was a long time before the good updates. Yeah, I was reading... Uh, I remember when the game came out... Uh, at E3, and there was a big announcement, and everybody at the Sony booth was mocking it because it it uh, reminded them vivid, forcibly of Fly 3. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, that's what they were like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It was pretty laughs> that's funny. what I put in the announcement. <laughs> yeah. For it's Fly like... Fly 3, episode 5, I, I mean... I mean, uh, see if these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... And so, but I was reading that they've they've done some major improvements in this game over the time over the years. Uh, what's interesting is that when you described it, Jimmy, I, I understood that every time you loaded, you kind of started from scratch. Uh, but I didn't realize your character never changed. So like, I'm stuck with this guy. <laughs> I like, which is good because I like him. Uh, <laughs> but this yeah. this is my guy. It's uh, I I really like I really really like this game. It can get it can get frustrating at points. I will I will say that because like if you ever do have an extended play session, yeah, that ends with you getting totally wrecked. Yeah, like You'd my session disappointed. last night, <laughs> it, it 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 hurts sometimes. And there's nothing you could do. You can't go down to the bottom of the sea and get your stuff, or no no way to recoup that. Well, if you get sunk by another player. Oh. You, you will respawn. You will respawn somewhere, and they probably will have your loot on board. So you can go after them in revenge, but you kind of have to plot where you think they're going. Yeah, and if they stay yeah. on and all that. Yeah, the the more loot you have on board, the worse and the better it is if you get sunk because right. the more loot that comes up from the water, the longer it takes for them to get all of it. But at the same time. It's really, it's still really difficult to if you get spawned really far away from them to catch them. Yeah, again, I imagine. Unless you want to spend a while. Yeah, I, I've been experimenting, dabbling, but I was like, oh, I, could, I mean, you could just go forever. I imagine a play session could last four hours with, with very little blink. Oh yes, absolutely. And it's because oh, of the left party again. Yeah. Uh. He, he, well, was he here and then he left? The the delayed gratification is part of it. That you're like, I'm so, I just always feel like I'm so close. I'm almost there. <laughs> You're like, oh, that was 20 minutes. I could have watched an episode of The Office. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, glad to have you here, Woozia. We hope it's a good time. It, uh, I was surprised by the price tag, um, but but it, it's been all right so far. I mean, I would assume almost that a game like this could be almost free to play, and then all the skins and stuff would cost money. But it's a decent game for the price. Yeah, and it, it the thing too about it, I think it's I think it's okay for it to be that price because this game goes on sale a lot. And I sh I just bought it at the wrong time. If that makes sense. Probably I I bought I bought it when it was forty. I had that, well, to that's... go below forty. All oh, right, that's but... what I paid for was forty. Oh okay, because like it normally doesn't it normally run at a sixty price tag. I don't know. It was on Steam, so I was like, well, that okay. That's that's why I went for it. If it was sixty, I probably wouldn't have bid, but forty worked for me. Yeah. Well, Kevin, if you would like, while we're waiting on them, we can go ahead and get into the game and start looting the island to gear up on supplies. Oh, and can they join us afterwards? They can. I can uh, I can toss them an invite. Let's do that. I would love to get your tutorials on that, although Pearl Ryan has never played. He'll be fine. While you do that, uh, Dark Vein 95 you played this with your brother-in-law. It looks uh, good before the... Oh, I read that one. Uh, but JS250476 says this looks interesting. I hope you are entertained. Drama King 92 I've uh, been playing Persona 5 Strikes uh, Strikers on my Nintendo Switch earlier, and name your protagonist Sly Cooper. 
and I finished the Okinawa Jail Metaverse. Congratulations. What strange brigade of master thieves. One steals passwords, the other one people childhood. <laughs> I downloaded Pirates of the Caribbean online through a private server just because the game made me really want it again. Oh, that's cool. All right, so okay. there we go. There. Oh, so I just clicked the screen, and now I have control uh, of that yep. camera. All right, cool. I'm on board. Where are you? I am still loading in. I'm uh, okay. I'm loading in Sea of Thieves on a hard drive, so what? It's a little slower. Yeah, I know. Hard drive pleb. <laughs> but one thing, one thing though that I, I think you may have, is I think you may be rocking with open mic. Oh, maybe. I want to look at. Yeah, because I can he I can hear you twice. Oh yeah, let's fix that. Oh yeah, I think I, I have did see that. Muted. Let's see. So, video do audio give setting. Do, do, do. Crew out patch. No. Do, do, do. Proximity chat. Push to talk. Player chat no. indicator. Let's do that. How can I rejoin you guys? Uh, I I'll I can invite you. Uh, Kevin also can invite if. Um, if he, you're already in, see if, you, uh, if you're able to do it. Go to uh, the settings for crew. Yeah. Settings. Do you hear me twice now? Mm. No? Doesn't sound like... Okay, crew, 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 crew. Oh, wait, for crew. My crew. My crew. Yeah. My crew. Oh, boy. Go to change the crew type. Allow friends to join me. Crew management. Crew type is closed. The crew... Has cast zero out of two votes to change the crew type to open. That's all I have. Let's see, I can invite Ryan. Oh, here it is. Invite friends. All right. Is anybody else having trouble like where Discord's like cutting out? No. I'm not. Mm. But I was having I was having issues with dropped frames on my stream earlier. I think I'm having Tom issues where oh. I'm, having a good day. I'm having issues where you guys like will cut out for like five seconds and then cut back in. Stop moving around there, Jimmy. Let's get a good look at you. Oh, you're old Grammy pirate. Yeah. So I also, when I started this game, I did not know that your uh, your character was permanent. I just picked this one because it was hold I picked this one because it was holding a guitar. But like you, I I I, uh, I turned out to like the characters. Well, after, I after I played it for a while. I knew I watched a few videos, so I knew enough to where it was like you will choose a character, and I'm like that sounds permanent, but surely it wouldn't be. <laughs> like, oh no, it's permanent. You can delete her, but who would want to do that? <laughs> yeah. All right, what do we it's do also... on this pirate? How do we gain? I see you just run around and open up barrels and grab stuff, but what else can we do? Yep. So one of the other, uh, so one of the recent updates um, for season two uh, actually allows you to purchase a very, very nice luxury to have over here at this person that represents the Merchant Alliance. Yep. So, uh, one of the most awesome things that can happen to you in Sea of Thieves is to have a storage crate sitting on the dock or somewhere on the island. Yeah. Because then you can take it to the barrels and not worry about, like, being over and Oh, that's with good. Stuff. Used to, you couldn't. Now you can talk to this girl and outright buy a storage What's crate. Up, okay. Which is awesome. I'll go ahead and buy it because I have Until the uh, time, I have the, I have surplus gold. I won't make you waste your. Gold. Oh, thank you. So uh, the things you buy because I've seen barrels of wood and stuff. That is a that is a this run purchase. You don't get to keep that forever on your boat. Right. Oh, okay. Good thing I didn't buy that. Oh yeah, uh, read this. You will get a uh, accommodation for it. Maybe unlock some. I think I have. All you have to do is read the. Uh, the first page of oh, it. Oh, there we go. Combination the lock. Okay. I don't know where the storage crate went. You read a book and got smarter. <laughs> That's how books imagine. work. <laughs> <laughs> you just looked at the book and just knowledge fills your brain. I saw the cover and I'm like, got it, got it. <laughs> Turns into Indiana Jones and you just, you're just sitting there just head shaking while all the knowledge enters through your ears. <laughs> uh JS250476. Yeah, that's amazing. Sly was just one of the biggest and best parts of my childhood, so he's not wrong. Right. I'm oh, not I wrong. have to talk to her again. Thank you, Splice. So yeah, um if you want to take this uh storage crate. Okay. Uh just... 
do I wait? I, I, I did talk to her. I got oh, okay. Now I have it in my hand. Yeah, okay. So, if you want to take the storage crate around and loot some of the barrels, pick up some food and cannonballs. Got it. Pick up storage. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, did, Ryan, did you just create a character? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Let's see. Oh, look at you. Oh. Dude, I've been trying to do that for the past 26 <laughs> years. Build a character. Or create a character? You definitely look like Orlando Bloom. <laughs> 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 no, he, he he looks like Matt. <laughs> These are not real barrels. Okay. Uh, so, Kevin. Yes, um, sir. When you played. Do, what, I, do uh, I have to call you Captain? Did you, say a lot? you can if you like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Captain. Um, the uh, I I played on the sloop, but I to familiarize myself loaded up both of the mid and full size boats so that I would be familiar with the rigging. Uh, this galleon class ship I think is very perplexing because you have to change the angle of the sails. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very interested in sitting in the crow's nest. I'm very interested in running the map. <laughs> Manning that rigging looks very challenging, but I'm sure with a capable captain I'll know what to do. This thing, I will forewarn you, a galleon is a pain in the ass to steer. Can't wait. It None is. of these barrels have anything Can't for us. Wait. Yeah, exactly. A lot of firepower, but it is a pain in the ass to steer. I can't wait to get sunk at the bottom of the ocean in the first five minutes. It's going to be great. <laughs> now, am I using this chest right? Because I'm walking up to barrels, but they're not giving me the option to do anything. Are they... Do I have to put the chest down first? Oh. Uh, yeah, you have to um, You have to set it down, open it, oh, and put the things okay. in it to uh, pick up. Oh, God, I got it, I got it, okay. It's how hands work, you know? Hands are confusing. <laughs> oh, I see, okay. So I should put all my food and stuff in here. Yeah. Now I, so I'm just kind of toggling between these two, okay. And then once, uh, once we get this island, uh, looted out, uh, if you'd like me to like go over like a, a a smaller list of things that we can do, no, then let's we can do that. pick out a good let's pick out a good quest and go for it. Okay, so I guess I guess while you're looting the island, I'll explain about the emissaries. Yeah, um, please do. So there are four types of emissaries that you can fly one of the you can fly their flags. There is the gold hoarders the Merchant Alliance, the Order of Souls, and the Reapers. Um, the latter of which is set more central on player versus player combat, but it benefits from doing anything that the other three do. Got it. Um, which I met for the, the first time tonight, playing with my daughter. So, I'm a level six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh you, got, you got to... So, you, you went over to Reapers and turned that in. I turned that chest in. The whole We did the whole thing, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I had to go find so, uh, them and everything. The, the Order of Souls is... Oh, thanks for the... hey oh <laughs> Thanks for the... <laughs> thanks for the follow! All right. <laughs> hey -oh's over here in my chat, too. I, I meant to say hi. I waved at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, continue? The Order of Souls is, co is combat-based. Which um, is great. I, I enjoy their it, missions, taking out those skeletons. Yeah, and the Merchant Alliance is more based on deliveries and tracking down missing shipments. Which was Gold oddly order. fun to go, like, bring these three plants to this guy on a dock. I'm like, what a simple and yet rewarding little task. And I enjoyed yeah. that uh, I couldn't see what I was doing when uh, moving with the plants because they obscured my view. <laughs> I love not seeing anything. I was like, that's so clever. <laughs> Alright, continue. Yeah, the, um, the merchant, uh, my favorite merchant voyages are the ones where you have to track down the shipwrecks. Yeah, I imagine. That's cool. They they are the, they by far yield the most money. Oh, okay. As well as I think they're the most fun. And you get to, yeah, go search a derelict ship on the bottom of the ocean. Who wouldn't want to do that? Hey, if I die right now, 
What happens? Like, uh -huh. will you be able to resurrect me, or do I go to the ferryman? I can res you, and uh, if you if I don't get to you in time, then you go to the ferry. Got it. All right, continue. Emissarying. Uh, and the last one is the gold hoarders. Gold hoarders is uh, more treasure chests, buried treasure, and stashed away vaults. Okay. Doing gold hoarder vaults is really fun. That was the first thing I did in Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I think it's the first mission they want you to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so and you to be an emissary, you have to have level sixty, right, on something. No, actually, um, so when you get done looting all yeah. those, um, you, you go. can go, I don't know how much money you have, but I don't think it's, a, I don't think it's a large amount. You can go to each one of the representatives of the emissaries and yeah. purchase their flag, which oh, will okay. make you eligible to just walk up and say, I want to represent your company and then throw up a flag on your ship. Oh, that's cool. Um, who parked this ship? It's way too far away from the dock. Can I, can I make it under the diving board? Yes, all right. All right, where do you want the crate? In the in the hole below? Yeah, we'll also, empty it into the into the, the barrels. Oh, okay, I'm we're going to sort it all? Yeah. Oh, jeez, okay. Are we ever leaving? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. This, this, part, this part gets, like, a lot quicker once, you, right. once you play it a little bit. All right, all but, right. But uh, you don't want to keep everything in a storage crate because um, someone could just like sneak onto your ship and if all of your supplies are in a storage crate all they have to do is pick up that storage crate and you are SOL. Yeah, sure. Now I've never met uh, another player while I've been playing. Am I been doing something wrong? Nope, you may have had thankfully dead servers. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Like literally, I just sort of sail around by myself. La, 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 la. Right, Ryan? Got it? Oh, I'm in the water! Ryan, what's my password to get out of the water? <laughs> <laughs> uh drama king 92 i have not heard of the game dead by day oh yes i have yeah 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 sorry um covid makes my brain really um like gooey not i don't remember stuff super well which is unsettling in there. it do be it do be like that <laughs> captain cooper ready to sail ttv nocturnal with the sub guys we have to do a shanty ready go mm. Yo ho yo ho TV Nocturnal. Subscribe for me. <laughs> the TV Nocturnal gives us a sub and we are going to rub a dub. Yo ho yo ho. All right. Thank you. Life for me. <laughs> thanks for the uh thanks for the sub. All right, so I need to go talk to one I want to talk to the soul keeper and see if I can emissary with them. So this is a good use of my money is what you're saying in the game. Mhm. Mm Mm -hmm. You'll have to, uh, in order to uh, fly those emissaries, nice. you'll have to have their flag. Um, Browse the Order of the Souls offers. Yep, that's the one. Mit grant access to Mystic Flower. I don't see anything available. I don't know if you can see my screen. Uh, oh, you have to have level 5 to purchase. Wait, uh, it's the 20,000 one on the right. It's got chains on oh, it. Oh, got it, it got it, got it. Order of Souls license. Okay. So I have. Is that, are they all gonna cost Focus twenty thousand? Because I'm yes. level six with the other yep. guys. That's the only one that I'm low on. Okay, Whoa. so you're level six with the gold hoarders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with then the it's reapers. probably best for us. It's probably best for us to fly a gold hoarder flag. All right. Um, because that will, will that will benefit everyone in the party. <coughs> um, Love it. Away with you. Stephen, are you in here yet? No, not yet. Will you okay. ever be? Um. Yes. Well, uh, Ryan, come over here with us, and so this tent is the gold hoarder guy, and we are going to uh, raise a flag for the gold hoarder. Um, the other thing, too, about emissaries is that you are a bigger target. Sure. While you are representing an emissary. Oh no, Ryan. What is it? You know, Why do you I, hate I, this I, game? I have to figure out what's what's up with my internet. It keeps cutting out and then coming back in. Huh. I don't know what's going on. We can we can three man a galley. It's it's really hard to do uh, two, but three and four is fine. Uh, will he be able to join later or? Yeah, yeah, he can rejoin at any point, especially if it's a disconnect. 
all he has to do is hit reconnect and it'll join him to his previous session cute gamer tv the with the, the follow the that's so cute thank you gamer tv I... for the solo so cute. Ooh, gamer. gamer tv <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gamer Land. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Swampy. Um, so what do I I don't need to do anything for the gold hoarder, right? Uh nope. You can um you since I since I have the flag, I yeah. can come to this table right here and I can vote to represent them, and you have to come over here and also throw down a vote. Cool. And we are now a gold hoarder. Yay! So the other thing about these tables is you see the boat figurines on the table yeah they're the little the little wooden boats right yeah. beside the parchment so if you come over here to the merchant's table where'd you'll you go? see where'd you go over here on the dock oh way over there got it there's a million <laughs> things happening on the screen But if you come, if you look at this one, you'll see that there are no boat figurines sure, on the yeah. table. Got it, yeah. That means that nobody else on this server is representing the merchants. Oh, okay. With the two boats over there, that means that we are on this server with another gold hoarder. Oh, so we're one boat so and there's another boat. Okay. Yep, what about to... the soul guys? They have emissaries. And there could mm -hmm. be reapers. You can go and check. There could be reapers as well. There are, there are two, two boats. Okay. This is a populated server. Oh, that's uh, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, usually you'll see about one or two emissaries. All right. And then how many non? Because um, I've never emissaried. So would you get a couple of newbies out there by themselves as well? You would. You could get that. You could also get people who are doing the like, I guess quote unquote story mode missions. Got the, it. the tall tales. Um. No, not really much of a point in flying the emissary unless you just want like an extra bonus for the loot that you get on those missions. Got it. But it's kind of it's it's kind of risky because you you do put a target on your back being an emissary a little bit. Much more if you're a reaper. Reaper puts a huge target on your back because everybody knows that they're out. To get you. Yeah, that's what because that's what they're there to do. Okay. Um. What are the so odds that I'm gonna find the, some uh, money in here? I put it in the hole. Where do you put all the, the storage grate? Very bottom. All the way in the bottom. Yeah, okay. the hold. Isn't that called the hold? It's the hold. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'll sort this stuff out. I am going to go into crow's nest. Oh, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you sort. I'll do chores. At least I don't have to swab the poop deck. The poop deck. Oh, I see what you're doing. All right. That's clever. All right. So with these uh with these cannonball barrels, yeah. what I did was I put actual cannonballs and shots up in the top one, bombs in the bottom left one, and then cursed cannonballs whenever we get them, if we get them, we'll go in the empty one. Yeah. It's like going on a road trip to Vegas. Watch out for sharks. Yeah. <laughs> Shark I I uh I almost got the uh Megalodon a couple of times. I've seen her out there. Little Meg. My, uh, there. yesterday, yesterday was my first day back in Sea of Thieves with, uh, with my, my friend Splice, and immediately after setting sail, like, we, we didn't get to finish looting the island because a, another player was rolling up into the dock, and we were like, ah, we don't want to mess with that right now, we don't have supplies, so we rolled out, and the first thing that happened to us, we got, we got hit by a Kraken and a Megalodon at the same time. Holy cow! <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> so it can happen. So it's all pretty random, but here's what I was surprised to learn is that the map is the same i thought it was auto generating but it's not is it it's everything's mm -hmm, in a fixed it's the point same every time yeah mm -hmm. so but with that you can uh you can actually do some strategic plays around certain islands How so uh so like a lot of islands have unique shapes like oh, sure. um the the island thieves haven yeah. has like three archways that have a, a, a crossing in the middle that ships can go through. Kind of a lot like that, uh, this one. Yeah, with uh, this thing. I've seen it, yeah. Sand. I've seen there's that land. one. Weedness. Uh, steering through rocks and stuff. 
But, uh, yeah, if you want, I think we have enough supplies. We can go ahead and try to set sail. I will go and purchase a voyage for us. To... What sounds What sounds fun? Would you like to find buried treasure, or would you like to find a hidden treasure vault? I haven't done a hidden treasure vault. Okay, let's do that then. So, uh, we got Ryan. Welcome back. We got Captain Jimmy. No Steven still? Captain Jimmy! I'm opening it up right now. What What have you been doing? Downloading an update that I didn't know was out. Alright, that's fair. <laughs> How dare you? What game? Hey, uh, he's, he's pulling a mic. He'll be here in 12 minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh. so this game is if, really um, uh, immersive. I think, I, I think yes. we're going to have a good time. I was reading that one oh, of the I things they chose to do was not do a third person, which annoys me. I kept wanting to change the camera to third person. But then when I read, they were like, well, we want you to be a pirate, not play as a pirate. I was like, uh, I get it. All right. It does feel like I'm actually a pirate on a pirate island. Yeah. It's like one of the most like important things when you're when you're trying to figure out like what your game's all about. And that first person really does oh, like, no. make a oh, difference no. when it comes to that. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Guys, I fell. Hey, you broke your leg. Oh, did I? Oh, I sure yeah, did. You hear the you hear the you hear the crunch? Yeah, yeah we see the bones. I, that's never trees. happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to fall from really high. I think like uh, you awesome. won't you won't get a broken leg from falling out of the crow's nest of a sloop or a rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I jumped off the. I actually jumped off the top of that thing up there where that boat is, and that hasn't happened. How do I fix my leg? Just eat some food. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can just heal up by eating some food, like a banana or something. How about this delicious pineapple? Ooh. You've eaten at least one oh. piece of fruit, every kind of fruit. Look at me go. What the you come hell? In here to the captain's quarters? Let's do it. This is where, this is where you lay down, uh, yes. voyages. Aye, aye, captain. Uh, I put this one down, so you have to vote for it. Uh, and I vote for it. Yeah, when you play this alone, go. you just kind of vote on your own. And you're like, yeah, okay, well, let's do it. All right. Whose room is this, Captain? Are you going to sleep in here later? Don't you have a bed in the corner? I... You do. <laughs> I prefer to sleep on barrels. All right. Like a good Donkey Kong. Or rather, I, I, uh, I like to sleep in barrels. <laughs> on, on, on the dock. In fact. Uh, I want it like like Sly when he jumps into a barrel and walks around. Oh, ah, yeah. it all fits. <laughs> no, this like game this. is pretty much just Xbox's Sly Cooper. Do it, show us. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Nice. I'm awake. <laughs> now, uh, you don't own any pets, I see. They don't serve any function, right? Mm-mm. Do, do Other they? Than it's like, hey, I have a, I have a, I have a pet. <laughs> If you if you have a bird, will it fly with you? Sit on your shoulders? Do you get to look at it, or does it just sit here on your boat? It it mostly it just sits there, but I think I think you can have them follow you. I I know the dogs follow you. Pretty I read sure. that, and the cats will follow you. But I was definitely eyeing some of those pets. I'm like, well, if I'm gonna do this, I might as well bling out. I considered buying the ten dollar skin that makes me look like a pirate. Uh, but the, or a pirate undead captain, the problem is you don't get to see it. You get to see it, but I don't. <laughs> see, which one? See, what? It says that the service is temporarily unavailable. Untrue. We are, we are pirating right now. Lavender bread. What does that mean? That's a type of bread. Lavender bread? Lavender beard. No, yeah, beard, not bread. That makes more sense. Lavender hey, beard. Thing? Please try again. Lavender beard. Is I, what it's telling me. You can keep reading yeah. it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, please, please, please keep Splice, saying it. Splice does make a good point, too. Pets are cool. But if you ever sneak onto someone's ship and you forget to tell it to stay, then it will give you away. I I don't understand oh, uh, what's going on. I don't know. It's not letting me play at all. 
So, Jimmy, are you familiar with Lavender Bread and why he's not able to be in the game? I am it... not. No, no, Paul again! Oh. What are you getting? What, what is it, this? It just says... The Sea of Thieves service is temporarily unavailable. Please try again. <laughs> Lavender Beard. Mmm, Lavender <laughs> Beard. I think is you're being punked. Is that the name of your character? Nope. Uh, Joshua8424, that's a good point. Jimmy, if we both buy it, then we both can see it. So, I can look at you and you can look at me. Yeah, yeah, I think you should buy it, Jimmy. Buy it, Jimmy. Uh, what, why uh, am I buying it? The, uh, the undead skeleton pirate wrath skin that's available this month. You're Peer buying pressure. a lavender beer. Oh, yeah. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Jimmy, I'm concerned. We, we definitely need another uh member of our team but both of our fellow pirates are having trouble what is going on <laughs> well uh we could uh i mean we, we could shift down to a brig if needed um but Properties. if you don't uh how how long do you intend to play to? not for hours but you know i want to okay. get a good mission going all right well, what we can do is we can go we can go hard mode for a bit uh, for a little bit and sail right. in this galleon as a two man. And let's see if they join us. Sure, and you, yeah, I'll and then I'll be thankful that we have more crew here. So. Oh yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Okay, so uh, if you if you pull up your radial wheel yep. with all your items, yep. uh, and you hit space, yep. uh, we'll pull out. Uh, on the top slot, the golden compass that gives us the direction of the next clue to find oh. the gold. And, and why do we have and, that? Uh, that's because we put down the voyage for finding a vault. Oh, and, uh, cool. You automatically get this compass when you start those voyage. Love so it. it would say that the vault, or the next clue for the vault, is that one. Uh, yeah, it looks that way. And that way is looking at our real compass south. Pretty much south. Yep. So let's up the anchor and get going. Wait, you're oh you turned the boat. Now what about these sails? Do we need to change the rigging or? So I'll help you. Yeah, we'll put him down once we get uh, once we get facing the right way. Yo. Yeah. Ho. This is. Because if you ever get someone sneaking on your ship and lowering your anchor, it's almost impossible to get back on <laughs> into the wind. That's pretty funny. All right. All right. Now what do I do? Need to move some. You can go ahead and drop the sail. If you like. Oh, okay. I'll do it. All three. Yep. Come on down. Um, and you got some Galleon. gold emissary. Uh, yep. yeah, nice, nice, nice. Go ahead. In a galleon, the mid-sail affects the speed the most. Okay. I did that one first, so good for me. You got this. Alright. When do I swab the poop deck? If you don't mind, could you raise the mid-sail just a little bit yeah. so I can steer a little better? <laughs> it, um, sure. If, if you want to actually come check this view out. Yeah. Like look from the look from the the steering wheel. Yeah, how you can't see anything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like your steering wheel. Nice job. Thank you, Captain. All right, and that was here. Let's raise that up for you. How's that? That's fine. Higher, lower, Captain. That's good, Swabby. Aye, aye. So, so I need to put some cannonballs in my hand, right? Just in case we get attacked. Yep. Uh, it would be a good idea to load all four of the cannons on each side. As oh, well. you just load them, and then you don't keep any on you? Yeah, you do keep them on you, because every time one shoots, you have right, to you put more, in. Right, you need more, right. The cannonballs. Okay, have you even tried carrying around those cannonballs? No, sir. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for Steven to go oh, yeah, every day. There's only no. three cannonballs, though. Oh, there's more than one barrel? I don't want them. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, uh, 
No, there's only okay. main cannonballs. Uh, oh, I see there. Okay. Is up in the top. Got it. All right. This is exciting. Okay, loading cannonballs. Oh, I didn't see you get the little cork there. Nope. And what kind of uh, positions does everybody normally have? Uh, um, what do you? Usually, it's whatever you're closest to. Uh, but often on a, especially on a galleon, you usually have one person that is more or less dedicated to steering. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if you would like to, if you would like to steer some no, I ship, I am more than told happy you. to let you try. No, I will be the map guy or the crow's nest. I was looking forward to all of these things. I like keeping an eye ah. open for bad guys. Uh, raise my sails, if you don't mind. This oh, little yes, sir. island is where our next clip is. Raising sails, Captain. Oh. Eve! Oh! Eve! Oh! Yeah, the, uh, Ernesto, uh, we believe that Xbox w watched Sly 3 and said, Hey, that was really cool. Let's make an entire game out of that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's As did the Assassin's it. Creed people. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, Hey, that was really cool. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Give me, um, give me... Uh, halfway on the front sail. Halfway on front sail, sir. And then when we get by this island, you can drop the anchor. Put the front sail now. Front sail! Alright, and there we go. Oh, that came down fast. Hey, nope. Like that, there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then anchor, does it go down faster than it went up? It does, okay. most certainly. Which island? Oh, tr over here on the right? Yep. On starboard? Or, uh, sorry, on the left. Oh, port, port side. Yeah, port side. Got it. You want it when we're pretty much even with it? Now yeah, you're... You can go ahead and drop it now. The boat turns around once you drop the anchor, yeah? If your steering wheel is to the left or right. Oh, then it'll like flip, I see. Ooh, we got guys yeah, on the island. Really hard turn. So, um the next the next thing when you ever whenever you park a ship, yeah. you always want to you always want to have the sails raised up. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll raise the sails after we get parked. You don't always have to raise the sails uh, before parking. And then once you get parked and the sails are all the way up, put the anchor back up. Because if we ever get into a situation where someone tries to roll up on us, all you have to do is drop a sail and move. Yeah, This be Sly Cooper's pirate voice. There you go, Ernesto. All right. Oh, sorry. Okay. Forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. <laughs> I need to do that level. I got distracted with this game. Uh, so do you just... So you raise the anchor in case we need to run? Was that your point? Yep. If uh, okay. if you ever see someone approaching, yeah, like if someone catches you off guard, it's like oh 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 hell, they're coming from right behind that rock. Even if I'm not on board, you just drop a sail and run. And that would uh, be when you would want to take up a, a a spot on the steering wheel as well. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. So, Assuming, of course, um, that you're not dead. The next part of this is taking this compass and finding exactly where on that island. Uh, the clue is buried. So. Oops, sorry. I gotta change that. <laughs> also, did you do you know that there are um, three different types of guns in? Yes. Yeah, I did. I haven't played with them much, but they look good, and I like that you can you have infinite shots as long as you're on your boat. So where yep. is that here? The galleon. Where's the armory? Uh, I believe it's here in the back, right here. Uh. Yes. Thank and the you. ammo refill too. Yep. Yeah. So there is a there is a thing that you can do a with thing. your sword. Yes. To a make thing. you go oh. incredibly fast off of a surface. And that's oh, okay. what I'm about to show you off of this uh off of the deck. Where are you? Yeah. Where I lost you. Okay. Go for it. So if you Nice pants, by if the way. Pull, 
if you hold down mouse one, okay. it'll do a sword lunge like that. But if you block beforehand, Ooh. like if you hold mouse two, then mouse one, you can go way farther. I did not know up. either of those things were a thing, so that's great. Yeah. So if you if you have to get really far out in the water for some reason, yeah. watch how far this will take me. Oh, wow. Like a samurai. And I'm way off. Yeah, yeah, no. You're way out there. It's a it's a useful thing to do. It's a good thing to practice. So, I uh, will see where this clue is. Yes, you've opened this game and my eyes and my heart up to so much. Oh, hey. A fruit crate. Neat. Mmm, fruit. Do, mm. do you want me to run that back? Yeah, sure. Um, there's also uh, harpoon on the boat. If yes. you don't feel like carrying it, you can just harpoon the, the oh, loot. Oh, really? Oh. Mm -hmm. That's usually the best way to. Oh, here's uh, Captain Horrifying Hunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you got a uh, skeleton captain. Let's. Uh, the captain right here with me. You gonna get him? I'll distract him. Let's mess him up. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, maybe this worked. Let's Sorry, see. you can't come out to the water with me. Where does it work now, Lavender Beard? Lavender Beard. Guy brush Lavender Beard. Get that boy. Get that boy. Boy, boy got to figure out. Yeehaw! That's what pirates say, right? Yeehaw. Sweet All right. Jimmy, what? Are, why are your pants glowing? What's wrong with you? Did you eat some glow sticks? Show me your pants, uh, Jimmy. I was, uh, I, I was in, uh, I was in Chernobyl recently. Oh dear. <laughs> Show those pants, boy. And I, I came out looking pretty stylish. I'd say so. Looking, looking pretty good. I made friends with a three-headed cow. <laughs> he also he was a dresser, a hairdresser, and he did my hair for me. Yeah. Steven, did you manage to get in here? Oh, wouldn't you know it? I'm still Lavender Beard. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness. Don't know what's going on. Oh, might die later. <laughs> oh, you found go. it. Felt cute, yep. might die later. I don't know where the, I don't know where the fruit is. We'll deal with this later while we're sitting. Oh, you um, you don't have to unload the fruit crate. Okay, I but didn't. It didn't. And it I isn't it. a bad idea either. Kevin, where the fruit are you going? Into the water. Look at this. <laughs> You've got a All right. got a mark on you. These um, every time I loot one of these clues, a bunch oh, of skeletons clues. are gonna pop up. All right. And probably drop loot. Like it, like it, love it. Hello, chicken. Chink. Oh, now where are you Chink. going? I went the wrong way. I'm uh I'm gonna drop. This Thank you, Drama King ninety two. Oh, chicken. And even uh even the really small stuff, you can uh you can harpoon it. Oh really? That's good to know. Mhm. Mm so I'm just gonna drop it all right there. Oh okay. You want me to harp? All right. I'll harpoon it while you do that. So what what are you doing? Your the compass is leading you to the next thing, and then you have to dig it up, or what? Mhm. Mm yeah. And once so you you're using it, your shovel, go back to your radial. Yeah. Um, each piece of the clue gives you a fragment of a map. Okay. Once we have the fragment that has an X on it, we will search the map for the island that looks like it, and we'll go to that place. That will give us the vault key, and we will then set sail for the island that has the vault on it. Uh, oh, did I grab you? You did. <laughs> It's a really useful thing too, especially if you're having to dive into a shipwreck and there's sharks everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I got one thing. All right, I've got. So oh, there's something on the water there. Did I get it? Okay. If I pricked up everything. No. Are you on? Oh, hey, Steven, are you on Steam? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Splice. He is. So when you when the game loads up, hit log out of the Microsoft account you use and then sign back in. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try that right now already. Oh, I see it. The small stuff is hard to hit. Yeah, it's pretty small. You can all you can also harpoon uh, you can harpoon me, but you can also harpoon the loot that's in my hand too. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> precise. Can I get the skeleton here? Can I get this guy. Everybody. Let's see if that does everything I need it to. Uh I think I think it's letting me in now. Nice! Let's this go. Is... I think I'm too far away to get that. Alright. Oh, you got it. Alright. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in. Iggy. Okay, cool. Arkan, welcome to Gamerland. Thank you for the follow. Gamerland. Right, where, where, where am I Gamerland. going for meeting you all? Where are you? Am I, I going to adventure? Send, I'll send you an invite. Let's see. Invite friends. What's your... Xbox Gojo. Tao, thank you so much for the follow as well. Uh, it should just be... Uh, Sly, Sly Daniels. Daniels. Yeah, I, th I think I snagged my original name. Congratulations. Gotta show those okay, Xbox well, users me, what's up. Let me go here. I got like a yellow icon with squiggles on it. But don't we all? A yellow icon with squiggles. I see... Yeah. I see Sly Daniels, you, your avatar on a purple background. Tell me if you get this. You get it? Uh, Steven? Nothing popped up! But I'm also not- I also don't have Xbox open right now. I just have the Steam. Oh, you'll need- you'll need Xbox open. Oh. Because it's an Xbox game. What's wrong with you? Why do you hate reality? But I'm I'm already signed in. It's letting me do everything. Listen, don't question the man. But I wanna. Man cannot be questioned. And I also Hard. don't have Xbox on my computer. Add a friend. <laughs> uh. Whoa! What is happening? I picked up a bunch of stuff. Oh! Oh! The gold! The gold pouches. <laughs> those those are new. Those that sound effect is new. Oh, you were like, why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I am not sure uh, what to do about that, though, Stephen. Um, most of uh, doesn't the com your, your computer come with Xbox on it? <laughs> it should. I've I've only ever done this with Steam. Do I've they even make Xboxes Xbox anymore? Any of this. Is that even a thing anymore? No, they only would, make uh, Microsoft machines. <laughs> Did I we would, completely I would invite you through Steam, but I'm a, I'm using it through Windows Store. Do did we completely lose Ryan? Is he dead to us? He may be. I think so. How are we gonna know what our password is? I don't we'll have know. to guess it a lot. We'll have to find, We'll have to, We'll have to go dig it up on an island. <laughs> now Kevin's following right. me on Xbox, apparently. I follow so... everybody on Xbox. Oh the wait. The next clue is. I need to add you to friend. There you go. Behind us? Oh, it's not yep. on this island anymore. Got yep. it. All right. So another cool thing that you can do with these harpoons is you can turn the ship with them. So if you're, oh, if you have to make a sharp turn, but you yeah. don't want to anchor. Yeah. You do that. That's cool. Yep. Will you uh? Will you bring me aboard? Oh, you're gonna do that. Nice. Yeah. This Whoa! is becoming overly <laughs> complicated. Now it's asking me to add, buy the game again. Ooh. Ooh, I swear to God, screen. you should just be able to right click me and join game. We don't believe you. Can you right click me and join game if you have me added? Oh, there you go. I have you. You just joined me. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, see if you can join on Kevin, because y'all are friends. Yeah. Uh... yeah, it's as easy as just doing hey! that. There you so, go, yay! You know, let's not bother with the stupid Xbox bullshit. Alright, let's see your character. Where are you at? Oh, I am the, the most, most basic, basic of... of... Oh, you have to do it too. You have to turn off uh, open mic. Let's see what you yeah, mean. you gotta turn your push to talk on. <laughs> Alright. Full sails. Full sails, Captain. Captain. 
Captain. Yeah, I am. No, close your close your mic. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Hit settings. Go to, uh, go to settings. Okay. Raise mid sail just a little bit. Sir, yes, sir. Oh. Thank you for your patience. This is my first day on a, a ship this size. I'm. It's an honor to be on the ship of the damned. Keyboard and mouse. How's that, Captain? Left alt. That's what it is. You're not even. You're not even sailing anymore. All right, I'm me. I'm me. That's better. I am. Oh. Captain. I may, I may or may not have moved this. <laughs> I might yeah. have changed the angle on one of these. There we go. <laughs> Change. Uh, so put them all. Um, put them all far left. Far left. Oh, okay. You did that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Hey, Captain. So each of the sa uh, so on a uh, on a galleon and a brig, um, sailing against the wind is faster if you cut the sails. But sure. on a sloop, it is faster if you have the sails directly into the wind for some reason. Hmm. That's getting pretty sly of them. Yug, 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 Here, I'll play us to sea shanty. Please do. Hey, uh, listen. Mm. I know you're new here, but you you have to pull your weight. Okay, we got we got rigging to move. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I can tell. I could lower the anchor. Kimmy, was that uh real? Um. Yeah, that was his little saxophone. Well done. Yes, sir. He's like he's Bye. a music man. You'll sometimes go into VR chat and get some music in. Whoa, Kevin, whoa, whoa. Put a shirt on. Whoa. We're pirates, whoa. not idiots. You got, whoa, I don't have to. I'm a pirate. You just said it. I'm a pirate. Come here, naked. You look like somebody no. from Red Dead Redemption running around here. I don't need put, a piercing. Leave me alone. Put some clothes on. Captain, he ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> can't make me wear a shirt, Captain. You can't. You can't. <laughs> You're not gonna make me wear a shirt. Okay. You can't Let's tell me see. what to do. You got no glass hat on. Oh shoot! We got Rule someone. Five. Thank what? you for the rape. Oh nice. Hey. Congratulations. I'm gonna walk the plank on. Guys are... coming over from Rule of Fives channel. Uh oh. You should definitely go to twitchtv the Kevin Miller to see the other angle of this adventure. We are. And from we my are angle cats. of it, you could close your eyes and just imagine. We'll never know. <laughs> All right. So I think this. I think that the clue is on this island, but I'm not sure. Let me see. The I can... uh, compass keeps twitching. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, you're right. It kind of hooks to the right there, huh? Well, there's some sort of lava yep. rock on the top. That's oh, just a boat. I don't know. Yep. I think it's on this island, so y'all can go ahead and drop the anchor. Aye, Captain. Aye, Captain. Drop an anchor here. How you doing, Rule of Five? There we are. Whee! Oh, yeah, I see. This game's so beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then, um... Steven, since you're mm -hmm. since since you're here, um, what, what, what? one person one person should stay on the boat while uh, anything is being looted. Okay. So you would, oh, you okay. wouldn't mind keeping an eye out for other ships. I mean, for sure. <laughs> oh, uh, he I heard came that. at he you. came at me with a can with a, and I was stuck in a tree. <laughs> yep, I got a powder keg one too. Did you die? Living in a powder keg and giga- Yep, I did. <laughs> Alright. So I'm the only one that, you know, survived. Yep. Stay there. <laughs> I'm fine. So Scalar another boys. cool thing, another cool thing about the Fairy of the Dam here. Yeah. Oh, we're here if together. you pull out your lantern while you're here. Yeah. And you hold it up to this lantern, you can change the color of your lantern based on what killed you. Interesting. Permanently while you play this, or? 
until you die the next time. When you die, it resets the color. Let's see. 